have to configure Power Apps Portal. Power Apps Portal is the next level portal making experience to Dynamics 365 portals. It is a great tool which allows you to build responsive business centric applications with a low code solution very quickly. It enables external users to interact with the data stored in the common data service. Let's see how to configure Power Apps Portals. To create a Power Apps Portal, first log in to powerapps.com using your credentials. You can create Power Apps Portal from an existing environment or from creating new environment. If you choose to proceed with the new environment, click on the Portal from Blank option where a pop-up appears. Now select Create New Environment option. But if you prefer to continue with the current environment, select the environment where you want to configure the Power Apps portal. For now, I will select a new environment here. You will be redirected to new environment configuration page where you need to provide the name and then select a region and environment type from the drop down. Now click on create environment. And once the environment is created, again click on portal from blank option. You will be prompted to create a database. Select create database to enable access to common data service. Select the currency and language. You cannot change the currency or language once the database is created. And now click on create my database. Once the database is created, the new environment is selected in the list of environments on the Power Apps home page. And the portal management app is also created. Now you can proceed with creating the portal. If you want to create a portal from scratch, click on portal from blank. You can also observe that there are already pre-built templates like customer self-service portal, employee portal, where you can make use of these templates to build your portal. Here. I will choose portal from blank. So once you click on it, you will be redirected to portal configuration page. Provide the details like name, which will be the name of the portal, address. Define the address which should be unique here and click on create button. The portal provisioning process will start off. This may take a while. After the portal is successfully provisioned, the status is updated and the portal is displayed in the grid. Click on the portal which you have created. You can observe that portal has been configured with some sample data.